Hi everyone and welcome to Roller Skills. My name is Danielle Lockwood and I'm a professional roller skater, creator and coach. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to stop. Stopping is equally as important as skating itself and you don't always have things like walls or objects there to help you come to a halt. So it's really important that you become dependent on yourself to uh, control your speed and to come to a stop when you are especially in situations that are a little bit more of like an emergency. The first one we're going to look at is the plow. I think that this is probably the easiest one to go for to start with. It is very safe and like I said, it can be used to control your speed as well as come to a complete stop. So the plow stop is really, really similar to lemon. So hopefully you have that skill under your belt already. So lemons look like this. And the main difference with a plow and a lemon is that a plow is just much bigger. So first of all, it goes wider. Second of all, it goes more down. And thirdly, it does actually come to that stop. So just like a lemon, we're gonna start in our nice V position like so. You're gonna bend those knees, push down into the floor. You're gonna allow this gap in between your heels to happen. And as you uh, get a little bit wider, you're gonna start to invert those legs, but you're gonna hover in this wide position. Now this little hover is really important to control that speed. And I will teach you a little trick that I think really makes a huge difference. So you're gonna tap into what I call a sensation or a feeling. It might be handy to hold onto a wall or a chair or something so that you're a little bit more stable. And if you just pop your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance, bend those knees and think about pushing your back heels away from yourself. So that is the feeling that we want to tap into when we're in that wide position. My knees do stay bent, of course, and actually one of the main differences with a lemon and a plow is that with the lemons, you can kind of ease off and there's that nice wavy type motion. But with a plow, I want you to think about being under a sloped ceiling. So instead of going down and coming up to finish it, you're gonna think about continuing to go down, 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 down. So if we were to think about our edges, we do push out to go outwards. And when we start to come in, instead of switching into the inside edges straight away, you wanna keep your weight on those back outside heels. Like I said, to tap into that sensation to just allow yourself to control that speed a little bit more. So we're here, we keep it on those outside heels, and then we bring them in to finish it off. This little end position is a little bit tricky to get, especially to start with. It's really easy to think about just going again, but I need you to think of it as an end game. We're not gonna do continuous ones. You're literally gonna think about coming to that complete stop. When you come into that final position, you wanna really exaggerate this inversion. I know it's a little bit uncomfortable, it's quite an ugly position, but that is what we are aiming for. So we're here. If you don't keep your knees bent and you try and do this inverted position, the front two wheels or even your toe stops are gonna hit and you will go flying over the top and we don't want that. So what you need to do instead is think about the knees coming together and leaving this gap in between the toes. If you think about it, my toes are inverted and even though my knees are inwards, they are actually still over my toes. So you know that nice rule that we have where we keep our knees over our toes whenever we bend them. If you have the feet inverted, then actually the knees will still be over the toes so it will be safe for you. So I would just like to note that trying this from a complete standstill is actually really tricky. So feel free to give yourself a little push. You can either do a nice little toe push or you can do a T push, whatever it is that gets you going with a tiny bit of momentum. So we're here, we go out, we hover, we come in. The reason I add in that hover before is because if you go straight into that position without kind of thinking about it first, it's a lot of steps to think about in a very, very short period of time. So it just gives yourself that extra bit of thinking time to really check yourself, know what you're doing and get into that end position as well as of course slowing you down and making it a little bit easier from whatever speed you've started at. Please, please, please try to avoid the temptation of straightening up the feet and coming up because like I said, that's just something else. If you wanted to do continuous ones, then that is totally fine. 
but it's really great to differentiate the two and be able to tap into either, not blend them together and not really know whether or not you're doing a lemon or you're doing a plow. So this stop is a really great stop for literally any skater. It doesn't matter if you do have toe stops or don't have toe stops. It doesn't matter what level you are. I think that this is a really, really useful stop and it's one that I use a lot. So this is our plow that I'm hoping you will be able to now add into your little skate vocabulary I like to call it or pop it in your skate pocket and save it for your next skate practice. I will be doing an entirely different video on how to stop backwards and this is only one version of how to stop forwards. I have another few on their way to you so make sure that you keep up to date with my channel, you press the little bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and you don't miss a thing. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you to unlock something new today. If it did, be sure to like, subscribe and share. And don't forget, I do have full online classes and tutorials over on my Patreon. I will link it below, so go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you can possibly know. I will see you on the next one.